Hi there, my name is Kyle. I'm here with Makers Mercantile to talk with you about all the good things in our newsletter. But before I get started, I want to say a special thank you and welcome to our new subscribers, all of our friends that we met at Stitches West in Sacramento, California. Kim and I were there, we had two booths and such a great time getting to connect with people in person. It felt so nice to see some old friends, um, get to check out some awesome products that other shops and uh, vendors had and um, brought back home lots of great memories and a few new hanks of yarn as well. So if you did miss it, uh, hopefully you'll be able to catch us at an upcoming show. We do have the Vogue um, event coming up here in the Seattle area um, next month. So anyway, hello everyone. So glad that you have joined us. So um, as the rest of you know, we go through these videos. We do a video um, with each newsletter almost every time and talk about the different products and things so that you get a little more information about um, about the products instead of just the picture and just the text. So in this case, um, we are going to say hello to a brand new yarn, and that happens to be um, called Madrona. So Madrona is a city um, here outside of um, Tacoma, Washington, and it is also now a really amazing um, sock yarn. So this yarn is the latest one from Haiku. It is 30% baby alpaca, 30% merino wool, and those two uh, fibers have been treated with something called Easy Wash, which is um, kind of like Superwash, but Superwash is, is, a, is a, a trade name, very much like Kleenex uh, is a trade name. So Superwash, um, it's actually Easy Wash which is like superwash. And then so 30 baby alpaca, 30 merino wool, 20% bamboo viscose, and 20% nylon. I'm working with it. It is incredibly, incredibly soft, and it comes in a lot of different really beautiful colors. So this one happens to be Rocky Beach. I could show you, I suppose, the actual color. A couple others that I can show you. This one is called Meadow Grass. And each one of the labels has a different little pattern, which I thought was really a, a cute addition. So uh, Meadow Grass. And this one is Pacific Blue. So it's a really deep grayish blue, and I love this color too, very denim-y. And uh, so what are we gonna do with this? Well, of course, of course you can make socks with it, and you have lots of fun sock patterns, but we are going to introduce you to a shawl that is simple to do as well. This is called the Firethorn Shawl. It is by our friends at Scassell, and you can see like how awesomely this stuff drapes. I mean, it's just so good. And you can um, throw it on and wear it and have yourself a new project. One, one cake of yarn is all it takes. So here's the offer. Now through Friday, which is March 11th, purchase just one cake of the new yarn, Haiku Madrona, and give it a try. And we're gonna give you the pattern for the Firethorn Shawl as a gift. So that is your uh, exciting opportunity to try out this new yarn. So that's the yarn. It is um, super luxurious and super soft, and it's all caked up, ready to go. No winding, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I believe, as I mentioned, lots of colors. I think there's like 20, so you'll see a little image uh, spinning around different colors in the newsletter for that. So the second thing that we have in the newsletter is a thing called Fix a Stitch, which was designed um, uh, by a company in Hayward, California. And a Fix a Stitch, I'm just going to try to pull one out. Not the one I wanted, but that's okay. So there are two different sets. There is the lace set, which is a very fine, um, fine needles, there's or hooks, I suppose, little fine, fine hooks, and they're little. And then there's a, what I'll call the standard set, and it has three um, hooks that look like this. And these little um, hooks are fantastic for rescuing dropped stitches. There's a little uh, paper inside each of these uh, packages that gives you information on how, like, which way to pull the loops and what direction to uh, recreate a pattern that you 
may uh, may need to recreate. But yeah, these are awesome. They are um, essential, I think, in for your um, for your notions bag. And check those out. We do have some of those available if you're interested in getting those. Get them while you can. Um, other things in the newsletter. This is a fun, fun book. So this is called, and it's something that we can all do. It's a little more sewing leaning towards sewing, but it's super easy and very fun and creative. It's called Psychology. And Psychology has 16 different patterns for different little creatures that you can make using um, socks. So, you know, if you have stray socks, you know, the single ones that their mate has run away, or maybe you've made some single socks and you've, you've got that single sock syndrome, you can always use those and, and make something fun. But I'll just uh, randomly check out, here's little monkeys, little fun monkeys, all kinds of little wild babies in here. Um, oh, the zebra, let's see. Um, here are some things that swim. Here is a certain kind of shark, hammerhead shark. There's a, looks like a frog on the back. And all of the instructions are super, super clear. They tell you step by step how to go about making um, your very own crocodile. So here's the crocodile. It gives you, tells you like, here's the stuff that we've used in this lots of photo information explaining how to go about making the thing. This one actually has a zippered mouth, so you get to install a little zipper. And at the end, you know, lots of other um, finished objects. So check out Psychology. It's by uh, Brenna Maloney. Definitely a fun book if you would like to get creative in that cutting and uh, making use of some of those single socks that are hanging around. And while we are on the topic of socks, we will talk about Soulful Socks, which is by Betty um, Salpicar, who um, is from, I think, originally from Iowa. But Betty is um, has that kind of brain that can think in directions that some of us uh, don't normally do. So the we've used this... Um, this pattern style, this inspiration of what Betty does um, in some of our patterns as well with her with her blessing. And for example, you know, these these uh, patterns, they start with the sole of the of the foot first, and then it goes up over the over the foot. Instead of starting at the toe and working, you start at like the flat part of the uh, foot. I'm going to see if I should have already did this before I started talking to you. Um, See if I can find a, probably in the beginning, um, a picture that shows that. So um, kind of general idea of like, this is sort of how it, how it happens. So it starts with the sole and works up from there. Hence the name, Soulful Socks. This book is um, difficult to find. We do have a few of them in stock. If you're interested in checking that out, please do so. So. I think that's it. It's a short and sweet one. We just got back, like I said, from Stitches West. Um, we are busily working on unpacking and getting some of those last minute orders for, that were placed right before we left out the door. And uh, super excited to see uh, how many of you are interested in giving this new yarn Madrona a try and also seeing all those fun projects that you're going to create. So be sure you share us, uh, share pictures with us, hashtag Makers Mercantile, if you're on Instagram and Facebook and all of those social places. We love to see what you're working on. Of course, if you have questions about anything, you can always reach out to us by email, hello at makersmercantile.com, or give us a, a call using the phone number that's on the website, and uh, we will be delighted to help you out however we can. So that is it for me. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Have a fantastic week, and if uh, if I don't talk to you before Friday, um, then we will talk to you on Friday. So do something fun and creative for yourself. Reach out to your friends and family. Check in on those that you care about, and we'll see you Friday. Ciao.